coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. Hey, hey, hey. Tug this way. <laughs> Sad to say, but I'm the champ of the day. It wasn't fair. On account of you're so heavy, when you weigh yourself, you get two fortunes. How can we beat somebody who brushes his teeth 12 times a day? I brush 12 times a day? Yeah, after each meal. How'd you like my fancy whistle? No who taught old Rudy how to whistle? My mother. Ever hear of Whistler's mother? Get it? Whistler's mother? Ah. <laughs> Get us an x-ray of yourself. X-ray of myself? What for? So we can tell what you see in yourself. Cool it. The reason we lost the tug of war is because Rudy didn't show up to help. Oh, forget that kid tug of war stuff. I got a big surprise coming for you cats. Ta da ta da! Meet my buddy Dustin. Glad to make your acquaintanceship, Dustin. I'm Fat Albert. I can see that. <laughs> Get set for some big time fun. And old Dustin is the key. Step right this way, folks. Yes, sir. Uncensored pictures of the art of love. Oh! <laughs> well, Rudy's all steamed up, isn't he? Of course, he's jogging along on the wrong track as usual. But about the only thing that ever beats Rudy out of the last word is his echo. But don't count Fat Albert out of things yet. He got smart by learning what happens when you're not smart. I'm putting my money on him. Hey, hey man, what are you doing, hey, man? Hey, Watch hey, it. Hey, it. Hey, it. Hold it, man. What does that clock say? The brown hornet, man. Hey, oh, hey, you hey, 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 brown hey, 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 It's not a bird, it's not a bee, it's the brown hornet! All right, now, sit down, be quiet. As you recall, last time we left our hero, the brown hornet, and his trusty pal Stinger, hopelessly trapped inside a giant space iceberg, 12 miles square. Then, Using the Brown Hornet's superpowers, they naturally escaped unharmed. Yeah, he beat him again. He had a great, he's great, he's great. That's much better, Stinger. Now fix the transistor on the other arm. Now try it. Yeah, well, I think that will get it. Smooth as silk! Hey! Get me down! Well, I knew the number 10 Rio Datsa transistor was too strong. Oh, no! What have I done? Hey, brown on it! Hey! 
I shall ponder a moment and then naturally perform a super rescue. I will use the old super straw in outer space trick. It's working! Of course it is working. A superhero never makes mistakes. Looks like I have <clears throat> bitten off slightly more than I can chew. <laughs> I'm awful sorry, Tweeter. I think I used the wrong transistor. Remember, Tweeter Bell and Stinger, a good citizen obeys all laws, whether on land or sea or space. <laughs> or sooner. I want no space saps messing up my space tax collecting racket. I am taking after him. Man the ship till I return. <laughs> Better up. <laughs> now for my sinister demoralizer. Stinger, listen closely. This is a friend warning you. Your beloved brown hornet is secretly planning to replace you with another superhero assistant. Uh-oh! No contact with the brown hornet! Something's wrong, Stinger! Calling brown hornet! Brown Hornet, do you read us? I can't contact the Brown Hornet! This regular proof metal is too much for even my super powers. Now to fix the Brown Hornet's partners. <laughs> Stinger, more news about your beloved brown hornet. He has found a replacement for you. Now it's just a matter of time before you are discarded. <laughs> ah, now it'll be easy prey. Wait, if you cannot beat them, join them, my quick change bit. A change? Forgive my little pun. <laughs> Need more power! Quick! Hit the button! No! No! The other one! Oh no! Oh no! Footsteps on the roof. But it isn't Santa Claus. Do not attempt this unless you are wearing suction cup soles like me. The brown hornet's in trouble. Superheroes cannot be bribed, but I'm schmied. Disintegrator pellets, noble hero. For my mercy. 
Where are you? Behind you. You fell for the old lookout behind you trick. I do not want to make myself totally disagreeable. Should have known better, but I believe Dondal about you firing me. You have learned a valuable lesson, Stinger. There are correct sources of information and incorrect ones. What about me? <laughs> <laughs> Rain? Solidified rain. Hail! Will our daring heroes survive their latest dangerous threat? If so, how? Tune in next week for another exciting episode of The Brown Hornet! That brown hornet, he really set things straight again. Why can't we have more people like him who can disagree without being disagreeable? Faster! Dustin's gonna beat us to the clubhouse! Step it up, Fat Albert! If we had your face, Fat Albert, we'd pay a pickpocket to lift it! <laughs> Rudy! I wish you'd graduate from high school. Uh, why you want me graduating, Small Fry? So we can give you a no-class ring. <laughs> oh, man, Fat Albert. You gotta be older than you look. Because nobody could get over heavy so quick. Face your eyes. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Notice how she goes in and out and then out some more. Wow. Mm. 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 That billboard seems to be doing what it's supposed to do, catch the eye. Beauty is really beauty and should be respected for what it is. However, a billboard still isn't quite the real thing, <laughs> even though the gang doesn't seem to mind that right now. <laughs> Not really. You want us at the clubhouse to meet Dustin, so let's get going. You dudes could have had this projector rigged up if you started earlier. Don't fret it, Dustin. We'll have her set in the flash. Hey, gang. Yeah, man, you, hey. Yeah, hey. right up. Hey. You should check it in a minute. Hey. Matter of fact, it's been done. Clowns, I can always count on nothing from you, and I know you won't let me down. No, your X-rated pictures do that. Hold it. Move that pipe over to the other side. Hmm. No, move it to the other side. Hmm. No. Mm. No. What's the matter? You run out of sides? <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Oh, 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 let's go! Douse the house lights. <laughs> Fasten your seat belts, men. Here's the first side. Wow! 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 wow. wow. <laughs> How's that grab you, huh? No clothes. Wibbit, only baby baby soups are them. <laughs> okay, house lights on. How do you like it so far? Right yeah, on, yeah, yeah, my you boy. Yeah, okay, show's over. Let's clear out. Hold it. Don't forget your. Homework. <laughs> Take the magazine with you. <laughs> Got some great photos of, of nature's scenic wonders. <laughs> <laughs> but keep them away from your folks, you know? Hey, hey, Russell, 
Aren't you taking one? How about you, Fat Albert? Include me out. Remember, don't let your folks in on the, the secret. Dennis is really making a point at this stage. It seems that he doesn't want any parents getting into the act. Nobody's parents. I wonder why. Ha! Hoo! Ha! Ha! Lucky I saw you in time, Fat Albert. These hands are lethal weapons, man. How come you're not with your bunch? I want a few words with you. In secret confidence, of course. Okay, start confiding. Uh, about your slides and all. The greatest, huh? <laughs> well, not exactly. You see, in some ways, your pictures are different, but they're different in a, uh, uh... Look, even round stakes get to the point sometimes. <laughs> Say it, man. Say it. Dustin, you're on the wrong track. Your rough stuff pictures show a one-sided view of the way love and sex work. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know your royal highness felt that way. Let's face it, man. You come on like you're 12 feet tall because your nose is out of joint. Yeah, because the kids dig me. And you can't take it. No, Dustin, no. That's not it at all. The gang have had it with you. They finally caught on their difference between pulling your weight and throwing it around. Here's my place. Here, hold this magazine a second. Now, cover it with my shirt so I can smuggle it in the house. Oh, uh, man, you got to be putting me on. What are you afraid of? You heard what Dustin said. Don't let no parents into the act. Oh, man, you give cowardice a bad name. <laughs> that weird Harold is something else. I wish I knew what. You won't get me hiding my magazine from nobody. Rudy, that you? Yeah, Mama. Hi, Dad. I'm baking your favorite dessert. No fooling. Pineapple apricot, double fudge with a cherry in the middle, upside down cheesecake, topped with whipped cream on the side and the bottom. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no nuts. What's that in your hand? Just a little homework. A magazine? It's for learning. I'll be in my room studying. Ha! Coast is clear. Oh, wow, man. I'll grab a little catnap. I thought I heard somebody snoring. Rudy's falling asleep. Bad timing for him, too. His mom is going to find out what he's been looking at, and things are going to start happening. Rudy? Oh, poor Rudy. He's asleep. Uh oh, I need some help. I took a catnap with Dustin's magazine in my lap. When I woke up, it was gone. Oh, my mom must have found it. I almost got caught with my dumb magazine, too. I hid mine under the porch. I sneaked out. I, I can't face my folks. No way. Oh. Maybe you can't face them, but we can help you. Remember the Brown Hornet, how he proved you got to get information from the right places? We're going to do just that.
Looks like the gang is a little less enthused right now about the joys of street information on human behavior. The bloom is definitely wearing off, and especially so for Rudy. Fat Albert, where's Rudy? Is he all right? Don't worry, he's okay. Thank heavens, I've been so worried. Where is he? Rudy. Can we come in and talk with you? <clears throat> well, the reason we're here is... <clears throat> I think I know why. It deals with this. Most of us got something like it, too. Um, a certain dude's been promoting um, the facts of life. It's good to learn about things. Where some of us go wrong is in the way we get our information. These pictures aren't the best way to learn about the human body and the facts of life. Uh, where should we turn for the right on stuff, though? Your parents, you can go to them anytime. Or your mother or father, Rudy. Oh. Or you can talk to your school nurse or teacher. Just like the brown hornet said, there are good sources and bad sources. What's this? A gift from us. What's the confetti bit? This confetti is from those crummy magazines you gave us. Happy reading. No yeah, problem. Yeah. We'll call you. Right. Yeah, yeah. You just cannot beat correct information from correct sources on male-female relationships to develop a healthy attitude towards sex. By correct sources, I'm referring to your parents, teachers, or your school nurse. They'll tell it the way it is. <laughs>